Hi everyone, Jorgelina here. Thank you so much for being here. Whether this is your first time, your second time, or you have been here for all of my videos, I am so excited that you have decided to tune in on this one. On today, I am continuing the Candy Chronicles. <laughs> I've decided to call them that because I have been talking about Candy and her business in so many videos since I started my channel. So if you have been here since the beginning, you know what that is. I have been letting go of pieces in my collection, sending them to Candy to sell in her consignment shop and using that money to kind of perfect my collection. So to get things that I really want and love and use. Disclaimer, just a couple of seconds ago, I went through and I did this unboxing on camera that didn't get recorded. So I'm gonna squeeze on over here. It was such a good one too. I think it was pretty funny because I went and I opened this one and there was another box in there because she is double boxing now. It was just funny to see my expression and it didn't get caught on camera. And now I'm just gonna do a reveal. So there goes those boxes. But I did have even another surprise. I just pulled my own hair. I even had a box cutter. Yes, I bought a box cutter and I used it. And it wasn't a hot mess. And I have nothing to show for it. I have no proof that I was not a hot mess for the first time ever opening up a box for my channel. I got a cute little pink box opener and it didn't get used. Anyway, well, let's retell this story. I will let you know that when I told it just a little while ago, I started to cry. Hopefully I don't cry this time because it isn't a sad story. It's a good story to tell. I'm sorry that now my dogs are barking in the background uh, because they can hear me talking again. So what I'm going to do is as I'm telling you the story, I am going to put the bag back in the dust bag that it came in. So. If you've been watching me along, you have seen that I just recently let go of a Chanel bag. With that Chanel bag, I was able to get three bags from Candy. Okay, it wasn't just a Chanel bag. I let go of a Chanel bag and um, about four SLGs. That was the first batch that I sent her. With that, I was able to get the three bags. Two I've already shown, and this is the one that I was waiting for. I needed the Chanel bag to be done getting paid for so that this one could ship out because the funds were going directly to this one and I didn't want to come out of pocket. When that one was paid off, well, in between, I sent Candy three more SLGs. I promised that I would take a short video of them, which I did, and I will go ahead and post of me just kind of putting them together to send to her. But um, so I let go of a wallet. I'll put it here. I let go of the denim key clay, put it here, and I let go of the toiletry 15. I'll put it here, the new model. I made sure to let them go for fairly cheap prices. They sold like this. They were paid for like this. So then I had all this money, plus what the little bit that was left over from the Chanel bag that had just been done getting paid off uh, to buy another bag. <laughs> So the end of the Chronicles are coming near because I have one last bag here from those three SLGs that I just showed you that I just sent to her that just sold. So that one will be here. Today is Wednesday. That one will be here on Friday. So I will probably show you that unboxing on Tuesday of next week. This one will go up tomorrow on Thursday. So this bag, though, the one that I got with the Chanel, it is this third one that I was waiting for. I told you that this is like the bag that I have been waiting for forever. I have never done a full wish list video or anything like that. But if I ever had, if I had been here long enough to do a wish list video, this would have been at the top of it. And this is because it has a very important meaning to me. So I give my bags meaning, not necessarily because somebody bought it for me or anything like that. But they remind me, certain bags remind me of certain things and I make certain parallels between bags in my life. I know it might sound ridiculous, but I really do love bags and I like having things that bring me back to a memory. I, I love that. It just, it makes me feel less alone when I'm by myself. Uh, it just makes me feel happy. 
uh, to have those things to remember different people or different times of my life by. Usually happy things, right? I don't want things that bring me negativity, which was the Chanel bag. The Chanel bag brought me negativity. I love the bag, but the vibes it gave me, yuck. If you want to watch that video, it's always linked. Uh, you can go and watch that one. That would be, I guess, the first video of the Candy Chronicles. <laughs> uh, I didn't call it that, though. Anyway, I'm going itch in my nose. Okay, so let me show you the bag, and let me retell that story that I just told that was deleted. So... This is the bag that I got from Candy. And it might surprise you. It's definitely not an everyday bag. And it's not a bag that I think would be on a lot of people's wish list. Oh, how cute is it? It's not the same reaction that I got when I just opened it because I mean, right? It was love at first sight. And this is like second sight. My eyes have been feasting on it for a while, but I should totally take a picture <laughs> like this. Anyway, so double meaning, I am going to brace myself to tell this story of why I really wanted this bag. So first part of the story, they do make a few different versions of this bag. The first one that I wanted was the bag that came with the Game On collection. So it's the same bag, but it has a little tiny heart here, like uh, from a deck of cards. The first reason why I ever laid eyes on this bag is because this bag came out on Valentine's Day and my son, who will be 18 next year and off to college, uh, was born on Valentine's Day. So he is my Valentine's Day baby. And you know, I have something, hearts, roses, right? Things like that will forever remind me of him, right? Valentine's Day is his day. That is my baby who is about to become an adult. Um, those feelings are something I can't describe. I'm so incredibly proud to be his mother. And I love to see him just embarking on, right, adulthood and just having been blessed to get to see that. Um, so, right, something that I'm always going to associate with him when he's here or when he's not, right? When he's off uh, being his whole amazing adult self, I will think about him every time I look at this bag because it will remind me of that. But there's another reason, and that is the reason that is going to make me cry and I could just already feel it coming up my throat. Um, so my grandma, who I've talked about in this channel before, uh, passed away in 2023 in January. Um, in 2023, in January, I got the opportunity to go to Argentina while she was still here. So my birthday is on January 2nd, and in 2023, that was the first birthday after immigrating here when I was a kid that I got to spend in Argentina. There were a lot of firsts like, or first agains <laughs> um, during that time. It was the first time that I was in Argentina with my little sister. Um, since we moved here, it was the first time that I was there with my mom and dad since we moved here. So, like, my mom and my dad were in the same city for the first time, in the same city in Argentina for the first time since moving here, uh, which was, you know, 27 years ago. Um so a long time uh, of being here in the States and just all these things going on. Uh, but my birthday was a big deal. I got to spend my birthday with my grandma um, it, for the first time in Argentina. And I have this wonderful picture of her when I'm blowing out the candles and you can see her big smile in the background. So the thing that's always behind me that my friends put on a cake for me. Uh, from that exact day and you can see my grandma in the background smiling with this just in the front um, this is always here um, so yeah but why does this remind me of grandma and why that story well on January 8th so shortly after my birthday and this like monumental trip um, this like once in a lifetime thing on January 8th was the last day that we were there that morning, the whole family decided to go out to breakfast. And I'm talking, uh, I have a big family. <laughs> All the cousins, the cousins' kids, me, my sister, my dad, my grandma, everybody. So uh, when I was in Argentina, I was staying with my dad and my grandma at my grandma's house. 
and my sister was there. Uh, so we were staying at my grandma's. Uh, we were waiting for the taxi. My grandma, my sister, and I went on the taxi together. And my grandma, being the amazing person that she is, she always got all dressed up anytime she left the house, right? She couldn't leave the house without being completely dolled up. She was a doll through and through. <laughs> I, I swear, from the moment she was born, I betcha. Um, so we get in the car, and the first thing she says, and she notices, she's like, oh, I'm not wearing lipstick. And she's like, do you have any lipstick? And I didn't. <laughs> and my sister didn't. And my sister and I are giggling that she is so distraught <laughs> in, in like the best way, right? She's like, oh my God, I don't have lipstick on me. And I just remember like my sister and I telling her, it's okay. You don't need it. You look wonderful. Your hair looks great. Uh, you're beautiful. Um, look at how young you look. Uh, she was in her late 90s. So, but this thing stuck with me that I didn't have lipstick for her. Um, so that was January 8th. We came back and just 10 days later, she passed away. So that was the last time, one of the last conversations I had with her. So after that taxi, uh, after that taxi uh, ride, we went to the restaurant, we came back home. We laid in bed with her. We just had a chat. <laughs> she kept thinking about her lipstick. And then um, the truck picked us up to take us to the airport and we were off. And uh, yeah, so just a few, uh, you know, a little bit over a week later, she passed away. Um, and even though she was older, it was still a huge surprise because we had seen her well. Um, but it, there's this memory, um, of her and how important lipstick was to her. So ever since then, I have been carrying a lipstick with me no matter where I go. I am not a big lipstick wearer. I do wear it from time to time, but I always have one with me. So it just, <laughs> it's inside my bag and, um, it's just always there and it reminds me of her. And now I have this bag. If you look again at this bag, that's what this is. This is supposed to be lipstick writing. So it's supposed to be written in lipstick. And I just get to carry lipstick around with me. And it might sound weird and silly to people, but that is just who I am. I I associate things like this with, um, with her. And that opening my purse and seeing a lipstick there always makes me giggle. It makes me, it reminds me of also even how she would give me a hard time if I didn't get dressed up or if I was going to work and I was a little bummy looking when she would come here to visit us here and I'd be going to work and I'm dressed up and I'm not wearing lipstick. She would give me a hard time for not getting ready uh, because she was, all, she always looked beautiful and put together. So it's just those memories. So I open my bag and I'm gonna reach for something and that lipstick is there, that just triggers me a memory of her and any memory of her is a happy one. So now I have a bag that I know will do the same. So that is the reason why this one is so special. And I can with confidence say, I will never get rid of this bag. This is a bag that's going to stay with me. Is it an everyday bag? No. Is it a bag that will be incredibly practical? No. Will I use it from time to time? Absolutely. Will I use it around Valentine's Day? Yes, every Valentine's Day from here until I die, <laughs> I am going to use this bag now because um, I have a special Valentine's Day bag and I will use it any other time that my heart calls for it. But it won't be a bag I use very often and that these are the types of bags that I am okay with doing that. So thank you, Candy. This is from her personal collection. Uh, I don't think she knows the full story that I just told, but she was letting go of this bag and she was so graceful to hold on to it uh, until mine was being paid off so, because she knew how bad I wanted it. Um, so yeah, I can't believe, ah, again, I would have never spent money out of my pocket for this, for what they're worth, right? But I let go of a bag that brought so much bad juju to me and brought in a bag that I'm going to love and cherish forever, forever and ever and ever. And then maybe it'll go to my daughter one day. Maybe not though, because I don't see myself like, like bury me with this bag. <laughs> so yeah, I am really, really happy to have this in my collection. I hope that you found this uh, video entertaining. These Candy Chronicles are not over because I have one more to go. 
after that, you will not be seeing a lot of unboxings from me. It's just not going to happen. That uh, My collection is finally coming to a place that I am really happy with it. I don't have things I intentionally want to let go of right now. Um, there may be some things that are just kind of iffy, uh, but I haven't made those decisions yet. I don't let go of bags lightly. I like to do what Mini from Minx for All does and take them out on one last spin. And usually that makes me fall right back in love with bags. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to let go. I, it has to have been a process and me deciding and really knowing that I'm not going to want that bag back. So once I let them go, there's no regrets. So yeah, I don't see any other bags in my collection that I am not fond of or that I am not currently using. So with that, thank you so much for being here. I just hit 1500 subscribers. So thank you so much. I am so incredibly humbled for that. My goal for this year is to reach 1600. If I don't reach it by the end of the year, I am still going to have that giveaway because I am anticipating it and I already have it purchased. Uh, but if I reach it, I'll do it sooner. <laughs> so let's wait and see. Thank you again so much for being here. If you like this type of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will see you on the next one. Bye.